So hi guys, I'm Robin. Uh, we're back again here at Urban Future in Rotterdam. Um, yeah, on our good place bench to meet um, like-minded people and city enthusiasts to, uh, yeah, to share inspiration on the future of our cities and how to make our cities uh, um, yeah, better places. So um, could you please Tell us who you are, uh, where you're from, and um, yeah, what brought you to Urban Future. Hi, um, so my name is Kwan Ok Lee. I'm a, a Dean's Chair, uh, Associate Professor at the National University of Singapore. Uh, I am an urban planning uh, researcher, uh, so I care about cities. Uh, I uh, do mostly housing uh, research. Uh, I do a lot of uh, um, things about housing affordability, how uh, we can have uh, more and you know, uh, more sustainable and equitable access to affordable housing. And also, I you know do a lot of research on neighborhoods. You know how people move in and out of uh, different neighborhoods. You know why some neighborhoods are more livable, more sustainable than others. You know how we can sort of uh, reduce the gap. Uh, uh, between the different neighborhoods within the city. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm usually going to academic conferences like other professors. Uh, this time I had actually have a conference in Copenhagen um, uh, in, on urban economics. Uh, and before heading to Copenhagen, I wanted to uh, uh, be another city. And I was looking up uh, internet, I found urban futures. And then, you know, this is a really good opportunity for me to interact with the actual practitioners mm -hmm. and urban planners and also the uh, the government um, uh, planners right so i thought it would be really nice to come and i uh, uh, luckily i had a chance to also to talk to the organizer and then they uh, were happy to invite me to right. one of the sessions uh, so later i'm going to speak on housing uh, yeah. upstairs yeah so that's where i am yeah perfect mm -hmm. well that's a nice coincidence that you already got the stage yes. to share your uh, work mm -hmm. and uh, research um, and of course the main question on, on a public bench is um, about a good place and what a good place is um, maybe we can also link it back to your work mm -hmm. what does your work say about what a good place is so I think uh, the good places where I think uh, we're talking about the cities I think you know are the uh, places that um, people are, are happy but also, you know, they are well off, you know, so well-being is becoming really important, right? You know, the physical and uh, the mental well-being. Mm -hmm. So the citizens uh, can um, sort of enjoy their life with, uh, you know, this wellness. I think uh, that's the good places. And these good places uh, should be uh, really uh, equitable. And also it should uh, provide, uh, uh, again, you know, affordable housing access in a fair and equi equitable way to all the citizens um, and you know in that sense also you know rising importance is uh, sustainability right so the uh, cities uh, should uh, be sustainable and livable not only for the current generation for the you know but also for the next generation so that's i think uh, uh, the good uh, spaces good uh, uh, cities should be yeah. and you've already mentioned you're from singapore and you stated it's the most livable city in the world. One of. One of. Yeah. <laughs> so why is Singapore a good place? So Singapore is a very unique uh, city-state. It's a uh, one city, but it is a country. Yeah. And obviously, as probably some of you know, it is uh, one of the richest city uh, cities in the world. And also, it is a uh, uh, very uh, well planned. So. Um, why uh, Singapore is a livable city is because uh, uh, the planning system is very, very efficient. So um, basically, when when uh, the government plans the uh, you know the land use of the city, it uh, actually uh, uh, forecast 50 years ahead. So five zero. So 50 years ahead, uh, it's a really long term uh, plan. So they have to do a very, uh, you know, uh, scientific and, you know, very uh, sort of uh, precise uh, forecast of the demographics, you know, how, you know, the industry will grow. And, you know, the, uh, reflecting all of this kind of forecast, you know, they uh, do the master plan of the entire uh, city, which is country. Yeah. So uh, with this kind of efficient planning system, uh, they could uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, be prepared 
to uh, sort of you know future shocks and you know uh, also like uh, when we have this climate challenge or you know other sort of pandemics they could uh, be more adaptive, uh, you know, where there's uh, long-term plans, right? And, you know, it's not only long-term, you know, they keep revising the plan to uh, be adaptive uh, to these uh, new shocks, right? So I think uh, that's how, like, you know, the cities become more sustainable and more resilient uh, to these uh, different shocks. And not to mention Singapore is uh, one of the uh, garden cities in the world. So it has abundant uh, green spaces yeah. uh, and also, uh, you know, it's housing. Later, I'm going to talk about this. It's a housing system is one of the best. So 80% of the uh, Singaporeans and their uh, permanent residents uh, live in public housing, which uh, uh, in Europe, I think, uh, people call social housing. So uh, this public housing uh, is uh, owner-occupied, not rental. So basically, most of Singaporeans actually own homes. So 90% uh, of the Singaporeans actually are homeowners, which is really, really high. And then they uh, uh, can sell this in the free market. So they actually buy this uh, from the government. But then uh, after staying for five years minimum, then they can sell it into uh, the free market. So housing is affordable. Green spaces are abundant, <laughs> and then the planning is a uh, long term. So yeah, I think, uh, yeah, and yeah. resilience. I think uh, that's how uh, the Singapore became really uh, a good and livable city. And to just to find to close off, um, more of a, on a personal note, what is one thing for you that makes Singapore a good place? Oh, my own opinion. Um, <laughs> yes. I okay. So I'm not Singaporean. Uh, you know, I'm uh, actually originally from Korea, okay. but I uh, uh, lived in Singapore for 13 years now. I'm a, a professor there for 13 years. Uh, as an urban planning professor, and also I interact a lot with the uh, government planners, right? I think it's actually the best kind of place for planners <laughs> because you can do a lot of uh, uh, new uh, 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 sort of experiments. So we call Singapore as the sort of uh, test hub, you know, yeah, test bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of uh, new uh, ideas are actually, ex you know, uh, uh, being sort of realized in underground. Mm -hmm. well, for 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 uh, this kind of uh, uh, experiment, you know, uh, test bed, uh, we need a government support. Mm -hmm. You know, the government is very supportive uh, to test out the new ideas mm -hmm. underground, and the planners uh, are empowered to do this. I think uh, this is uh, something uh, that's not very, very possible like in other uh, uh, institutional contexts, but I think uh, in Singapore, uh, that's uh, something uh, that's uh, sort of uh, bringing all these new ideas uh, into actual uh, plan. And, you know, uh, that's something that the planners uh, really dream about. So, you know, for me, that's a really good place, yeah. Is there room for a good place bench in Singapore? Uh, no, maybe we should have, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, it would be nice you know, yeah. to have uh, back in Singapore. Yes. Very good. You hear that? Looking forward to visit you. I've never been, so oh, now you, you you sold it to me, so I now need to uh, <laughs> experience should. it. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.